So today we'll be looking at all the camp chairs that are available to you, including bifolding and trifolding, as well as little folder seat pads, all different weights, shapes and sizes, and which ones do I bring on the camp the most. Welcome to Bex Bug Out Survivor and I have an array of camp chairs. Most of them are camping related. One of them is military surplus, but we're going to have a look at a whole array. Not really the weather to be filming this, but it is what it is. Okay, let's empty this bag out. So this one here is army spec. It's what we call the CO's chair. It's pretty comfy. One of the heaviest, but really this would be ideal for bushcraft where you're not walking it a great distance with the X beam on it here. So you can see how it all folds up. This is not the one with the drinks holders in the armrests either. Your CO would not have a beer or a can of pop here. Your CO is more likely to have a nice glass of bubbles. Sat down watching your work. Again, would make an ideal fishing chair just because it is so comfy. Have a lot of good back support here and I can almost recline a little. Trouble is it's weight, it's not lightweight, wouldn't really go in a backpack for camping. However, for a bushcraft or something like that, car camping or, or fishing especially, really really comfy. There are look-alikes. If I go to my bag you'll see they do do clones of this which are like the beach chairs really and the clone chairs are a lot lighter they're a little inferior that's why they're lighter the alloy here isn't as strong the fabric isn't as durable you can see this arm rest has come off but I thought we'd put them side by side one is the army version one is the clone with the drinks cups. Both really similar designs with the X beam on the front, that's how it all folds up. A little smaller as well and I don't think as comfortable and you'll see instantly the actual weight difference between the two. It's noticeable. The comfort isn't really here compared to the army version. This pole is sticking into the back part of my shoulder. When I lean back, I can feel that. Not so much with the NCO version here. Oh, look at that. That's typical, that's what I mean about the frame. I put my hand down to push myself up and it's bent this bit of metal here. It really is inferior. So as I push down to get up, I'm not bending this metal here on the armrest. I can lean back and I haven't got these arms digging into my back just because it is slightly taller it's a better place to have these. Got a bit of sun coming out. Time to strip off. Yeah. What you're doing with this 
of a clone version here is weight saving. It's not as comfy. I don't know how long I would like to sit in this if I was into fishing. Folds up instantly. There's no assembly or anything, which is what I like. And this is a lot lighter than the army version, but it's just not there. What I like are these feet here. You can put them onto a softer terrain and it doesn't sink in. Another thing is its rigidity. You know, as you can see, it didn't take much to bend the alloy on this. But I think I paid just about four quid for this. It, and it is light enough to actually backpack, believe it or not. Just hasn't got the dimensions for it. Although it could be strapped onto the side of your pack or something like that. Not that I would. I actually wouldn't use this for any kind of camping either. But fishing or something like that or a craft or a hobby that involves you sitting down for over an hour. This is comfortable. Really, really comfortable. Nice armrests. If I'm into any kind of photography such as wildlife, stargazing, anything like that, I could sit here with my hot flask of coffee and my video camera or binoculars or whatever it is and I could sit in this one for a long time. Both of these chairs have similar legs here which means they're not sinking into soft terrain that some of the other uh, camp chairs would. But I can't remember how much I paid for this army chair. I think I bought two in the end. I don't know where the other one's gone. I'm only left with this one. Um, I kind of got it in the back of my head somewhere around 12 quid. But like I said, if you're fishing, photography, stargazing, you've got your binoculars, anything like that, this is the one. Try folding instant there's no assembly this is really small this will go onto the side of a backpack i haven't got the back support that a little old man like me would like in his later years fishing on this or photography or whatever your hobby is or craft i don't think i would like to sit on that for any more than just a few minutes while i make a brew or just fancy a sit down if you're a gram counter, there are clones of these, and I've got one. The clone comes in a little bag like this, and the clone is a lot lighter. So think of this as that military chair with a thicker alloy and better fabric for the seat. And then we come to the clone, a lot lighter. But they're using more inferior manufacturing and assembly and parts especially this part here the alloy you can see here the the alloy on this and the alloy on this although the camera is not picking it up this is far superior these clones i don't see the points of them because the original isn't that dear about three quid one pound fifty i paid for the clone it's a hell of a lot lighter so if you are looking to shave a few grams, this is definitely worth it. The only trouble with tri-folding legs like this, they dig into the ground and they'll sink under the pressure of your body weight into the ground. It's very common. But I can counter that sinking effect of tri-folding stools like this. And we'll have a look at that in the tips video. Look pretty similar. Similar kind of height, similar manufacturing as well. The actual quality of the seat is pretty good on this. Double stitched. But then again, this little clone as well. Surprisingly good fabric.
for the extra quid or two it's going to cost I'd get the original with the better alloy it has a safety strap on it here and this which is a velcro and I thought this velcro might be to keep it all from coming undone at the top because it doesn't come with a, a carry sack but it doesn't reach all the way around I don't know whether that's to put on your belt but I don't think so because it wouldn't stay flat so I don't know what this velcro is actually for and I'm assuming this extra strap which has a slide on it here is a safety feature in case it exceeds the actual expansion and then at least that way it, it's catching um, the weight and it won't bend the poles but I don't know just for the sake of saving a couple of quid the original is a lot better the clone again a lot lighter lightweight is good but not at the cost of it being inferior so I'm still on the search. This is the one I used with my vintage frame pack. This one is bifolding, just folding on the cross like that on the X. Again, you have very narrowed alloy on soft terrain, they will sink. And a little reminder I will show you how to counter that on the quick tip video. The alloy is very, very lightweight. I'm very reminiscent of my vintage Cobmaster frame. It's that kind of alloy, very, very strong. The actual seat itself looks like a tough nylon. So the age of this, I don't know, but I've had it a while. Very lightweight. This I have used for camping because it sits like that down the back of my pack i can also have this attached on the back of my pack if i just want to untie it open it up that's how quick it is again having something speedy to assemble is great and sit yourself on a bit unstable so far seems a lot more stable it's a lot better comfort on the back side as well I can't lean back so again this is something if you're just stopping over for 10 minutes while you make a brew or you just fancied having a sit down absolutely fantastic these type of stools don't break the bank they're not dear at all especially on flea markets car boots you're gonna get them just for a quid or two I love the way I can support myself on this alloy here and it doesn't bend like the clone did. About two, three quid. I like this, it fit nicely with my vintage Cobmaster pack. I'm going to try this on um, my Hyperlite pack, my new Hyperlite pack, but I don't know. I do like a backrest these days. Hyperlite in. You're not really going to like much of a stool. The best you're going to get is a folding sit pad on the ground. Keep your bum off the dirt and the cold. It's actually quite warm. I, I use this sometimes in a hammock just to go behind my shoulders or under my backside just to offer a tiny bit more insulation. So it does have a good insulating property. Nice. On mowed grass like this, the straw is still sticking up. And yet, on this mat here, I have a lot of comfort here. I'm not in danger of being spiked up the backside by a bit of straw. Um, young man's game, 
this pad. I, I can sit like this for a few minutes and then my back starts to hurt. I like that a lot. Too bloody heavy, too heavy. <sighs> Let's see what it's like without, oh, not nice. That actually works, that actually works. Um, young people don't really notice the weight of anything. They will just put heavy stuff in the pack and get on with it without moaning. Uh, the older you get, you like a bit of lightweightness, but I'd rather have a bit of back support also. So what does that leave me? It leaves me my new one. It is similar to the other two camp chairs, the army version, the, you know, the CO's chair and a clone. It has a back support. This has a carry case and it is Canway. And I'm going to set this one up and that's the only thing I don't like about this. You have to set it up. All the others that I've shown you there is assembly free. This is a great chair. I hate the assembly, but it's light. It is as light as even some of the others I've just shown you. Crack on with this before it starts raining. This is just a carry case, which I think could be optional. I can just travel with it wrapped up like that and connected onto my pack. That's pretty light. So let's put this on the ground and have a look at that assembly requirement. Comes with a frame and somewhere here in the pocket are four of these. These are what I'm going to put onto the legs to stop it sinking into the ground. It all just clicks into place. So the assembly so far isn't too bad. It's like them tent poles that are connected on a connection like this on elastic and they just snap in. The taller pieces here off of the back and you sit really low to the ground. This is the actual seat itself. As you can see those just cup over these alloy pieces here. So there are versions of this with a much higher back support. I don't know whether to invest in that or not. I'm going to have a think about it. I'm going to see how I get on with this. All do the same job, you know. You just put your arse in them. But a lot of them have a lot more comfort. That is definitely the most comfortable, the most trusted, rigid. It feels like I could bend the alloy on this new um, camp chair. I've already bent the alloy on the handle just there as you saw before, but that's what you get with more inferior chairs. This one here, I'm not too sure about. 
it's comfy enough. So I am trying this little chair with my legs out in front of me. It's not too bad. With my knees brought in, it feels a little more stable. But it feels a bit rickety from side to side. I'm sure the alloy will support me, but I don't know. This, surprisingly, is light. Just a little too bulky to put onto a backpack, but it's relatively light. It, it's doable. Not that I'd want to. My CO's chair. Love it to bits. Really, really comfortable. And you can see how easy it is to fold down. No assembly. That's what I like about this. Heavy, heavy, heavy car camping, bush crafting. I wouldn't want to walk this very far at all. Fishing, absolutely ideal. Stargazing, photography, um, anything probably where you'd have to use one of them fishing wheelbarrows to start bringing your kit in. Absolutely fantastic. Comfortable is not the word. Reliable, strong and bloody heavy. Not for an ordinary camp. So what does that leave me realistically? This really lightweight, it'll give me a bit of support while I'm making a cup of tea, coffee. I wouldn't want to sit in this for more than an hour, which we spoke about would be more for your fishing and photography. This is just a 10 minute little stopover. Again, no assembly, just that thin, and light. Right, what does that leave us? The little tri-folding um, stools. This one, although it's a little knockoff clone, a lot lighter, I've never bent the alloy. This I probably would take instead of the original here. And of course, the little uh, folding sit mat. I do use this a lot and it doesn't have to be opened out for you to sit on it you can sit on it just like that I'm not getting any younger and I like a bit of comfort which is why I looked at this here it is incredibly lightweight this uh, the cam way or can way the stuff sack I wouldn't even bother with it this packs down smaller without the carry sack so let's get rid of that and see what we can do to dissemble this. Just push it down. Take off the fabric. And it spiders down. It doesn't actually take that long to put up and down. But there is... A required assembly. I'm going to roll this into the actual seat itself. I've just put these little feet in a side mesh pocket on the arm of the chair which is where you'd put your drink or anything you want really. So there are the little feet. There's the frame. Let's make it a smaller dimension roll it bring that in now a little band around that would stop that coming undone but it does come with a little carry sack so let's use it oh, I hate assembly with things I really do but it's it's not bad it's not bad it's not the best out of everything I've shown you, but the best is too heavy. This would be second best, but I've yet to try it out for more than uh, one season. A lot of choice there, really. I know I like something with a bit of back support, so probably just because of that factor, I'll be going with the Canway. The others, too heavy, too bulky, or no back support. But a choice, a choice for everyone.